Today we're going to make a very simple version of a classic French potato dish, a galette. This is a really delicious and very simple layered dish of potatoes seasoned with butter and herbs. You're going to need a couple of Idaho potatoes, four or five, or three or four if they're bigger. Um, you're going to need some clarified butter or unsalted regular butter if you like, a pie plate, and some seasoned salt with some herbs. Normally I would use rosemary for this dish because I just love rosemary with my potatoes, but this week I'm going to use some Herbe de Provence. Herbe de Provence, if you don't know, is a really excellent little aromatic herb to have around, or a combination of herbs. It's rosemary, thyme, um, a little sage, no parsley, uh, some marjoram, some basil thrown in, maybe a hint of lavender. It really awakens any kind of vegetable dish, especially potatoes. First things first, we're going to scrub and rinse and pat dry your potatoes, set your oven to 325, and melt about a half a stick of butter in a little saucepan. It's really important that your potatoes are sliced very thin and very evenly for this dish. And for that, there's no better way to do it than using a mandolin. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. Add your sliced potatoes to a large mixing bowl. Add your melted butter to that. Give them a good toss to see that they are fully coated. We're gonna add a good teaspoon or two of some lovely Herbe de Provence. Generous helping of salt. That's about a teaspoon. And of course, some fresh cracked pepper. I like this in generous amounts. You can crack to taste. Continue to toss until all of your potatoes look like they've been blessed with a little bit of herb. We're gonna to wanna to line our pie plate with some parchment paper. So in order to do that, we will cut a square. We will fold it in half and in half again. I know the bottom of this plate measures about seven inches. So I want about three and a half inches of circle here. So right about there, I'm gonna cut myself a little circle. And there we have it. Now, here's the one tricky, tedious part of this procedure. We're going to line these beautifully across the bottom and layered. Now, because this is going to get inverted and served upside down, the bottom layer will be your top layer. It is the most important layer for presentation. So make sure that that first layer that goes down is precise and even, and you'll be so much happier when you invert it later on. Then we just repeat until all of our potatoes are laid out. Once that first layer is down, you don't have to be as precise. Of course, I'm going to be because that's the kind of guy I am. Once your layers are all laid out, isn't that pretty? We're gonna add a second layer of parchment round to the top of that. And to keep it weighted down and flat, we're going to put another pie dish right on top. Press it down, pop that in the oven at 325 for an hour. After an hour, I can smell that this is done to me, to my nose, but let's take off our glass plate and remove our parchment. And just like when you bake a pie, you could take a toothpick and pierce it down and find that, oh yes, that is tender and ready to go. So what I like to do is put it on a tempered glass plate and invert the entire thing. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Now, sometimes I like the top to be a little more brown and crispy. If you did this on a skillet, that would be the case. I'm gonna pop it under the broiler for about four or five minutes and see if we can achieve the same That's thing. That's what we're looking for. That little bit of golden brown on top. Isn't that beautiful? There we have it, classic French galette. Like the old commercial used to say, try it, you'll like it, especially if you've earned your carbs this week. Thanks for watching.